We welcome you to worship this midweek Lenten worship on Wednesday, March 17th. We begin our worship with confession and forgiveness. God of heaven and earth, you come in close and make us yours. Equip us by your spirit to confess our sin, embrace your forgiveness, and seek the way you set before us in your Son. With honesty of heart, let us confess our sin. Merciful God, forgive us. Our will is handcuffed to sin, and we cannot break free. Merciful God, we have spoken when we should have kept quiet. Merciful God, we were silent when we should have said something. Merciful God, we acted when we knew better. Merciful God, we were still when we know we should have moved. Merciful God, for the wrong we have done and for the good we have failed to do, have mercy on us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now, people of God, look to the Son given to heal you and set you free. Know that the forgiveness God offers is for you. Loosen the bonds on your heart so that you may receive God's mercy and grace. Amen. We listen now to our opening hymn.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God, we give you thanks for the gift of joy, a joy that holds even amidst the trials of this life. Help us, as your disciples, to bear this gift to a world in need. In Jesus' name, amen. Our first reading is from Paul's letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Word of God. Word of life. Thanks be to God. And then our gospel reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 15. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
for the church around the world, that it may make us more loving. For the leaders of the nations, that they may guide us to peace. For the healers and caregivers, that they may have strength. For the ill and the grieving, that they may have comfort. For those in our schools, that they may be safe to learn. For all who are at home, that they may not feel isolated. For all who are weary, that your love may give them hope. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. pray together the prayer that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We listen now to our closing hymn. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. <laughs>